Hello everybody, Jukes here. If you have not done so already, install AutoClicker. Link is in description. We'll be using multi-target mode, but before we begin the video, under others in the common settings, click this. This has to be disabled for you to click it. Um, you could decrease target size if you wish to. This is totally preference, up to you. And you can also decrease the controller bar size. All right. Stupid ads. All right, moving on. Enable the auto clicker. And we're going to the video game. Placement of the targets are important. I'm going to show you the locations, the reasoning for them, and telling you the amount that you should set each at. So the first one will be on Embark. I set this to 2,000 at the moment, but it could be within a range of like 1,500 to like maybe 3K, depending on um, the host. I prefer 1,500 to 2,000. Um, so let's go to multi real quick, so I can show you where to place them. The Ochu challenge uh, requires extra buttons because there's a lot of failures. So right here, ready, you want to set your first target to right here, because that's your embark button, and set it at 2,000 or 1,500, up to you. The second button will be right here, and that's to cancel friend. Friend request, that's to cancel that. For the friend request cancel, put it right between shop and guild, right in the center, and that should be fine, and set that down to 1,500. Now for the third target, that will be on the refresh button, or the update button right here. You can place that right there. And set that to 600. The fourth target will be on the event you wish to join, so you can move this wherever you please. To whichever event you want to do. But it's uh, kind of limited, because you can't really scroll down. So preferably one of these three or four. Oh shoot, challenge is the one I'll be setting it to. It's going to auto-click this on the next uh, playback. It'll click that. That could be set to 600 as well. So the fifth target will be hitting the join room. You can set that to 200. Sixth target will hit no on the pop-up. After you hit refresh on groups that are like, say if there's no one making a room right now. It's just going to hit no right here. So make sure you set the sixth button right over to cancel on the top right over here. That's fine. I'm not sure if this is completely optimized, but this is where I have it set for now. And the seven button could be right there. And the top left of the crate room. And that's responsible for hitting um, do not continue when your group fails. And trust me, they will fail a lot. Um, especially for the Oshu challenge. The eighth button is to hit OK for when people leave your multi because they're failing. And 100 milliseconds is fine for that. Make sure that the range of all your buttons hits within a range of 3,500 to 6,000 milliseconds. Because if it's not within that range, it's either going to be too fast or too slow. So ideally, the range is 3,500 to 6,000 milliseconds. If there's anything I'm, I left out, if there's anything I left out, I'll just add it to the description later. Jukes out! <laughs>
shit. I hate me. Fuck Josh. Can we 